everybody, Lisa here with another video. Sweet Pea is helping me out today. Say hi, Sweet Pea. And we wanted to show you what we bought. The oh, everybody's coming to help. That's Haley. Everyone's coming to help Mommy film her video. So this weekend, I went out of town. I went to my mom's. And so I decided on my way to my mom's, I would stop at any Tuesday morning I found along my path. Apparently, there's only one Tuesday morning between here and where my mom lives. It's about a two-hour drive. There is another one, but it's a little further north, and I just didn't make it over there. Kitty, they don't want you. They don't want to see you. No, they don't. Um, and so I only got to go one. And then my sister took me to Five Below, and I got a new cell phone case, which I can't show you because it's on my phone, which I film with. And then I got this planner, which is what I wanted to show you before I started my Tuesday morning haul. And I, it got Kitty approved. So, um, Creative You, Do It Yourself Agenda. And I just thought it was really pretty. And it has, like, this little folder in it. And it, like, Celebrate. And then, like, a monthly blank calendar. And then what to do this week. So I thought maybe I would use this for 2019. I need to find some good stamps, though, to, like, stamp in it. All right, now on to Tuesday morning if the cat doesn't sit on the bag. So let me tell you, you guys, I Bought hit this. the mother load. It is $5.99. There's the skew. It's called the French Knitter. And you make dazzling accessories with beads, nylon, yarns, and embroidery threads. So I'm not too sure about this, but it looked cool. So I decided right, to try it out. Let me show you my Halloween stuff. I went a little overboard with Halloween. First, I found these from Pebbles. They are little bats. I don't like bats in real life, although they are cute, but I like bats in craft washi. Let me take it out of the box and show it to you. One moment. So it's not exactly what I expected, but look at the cats. Aren't they cute? This is from the Something Wicked from My Mind's Eye. And I think I have this paper somewhere. Anyway, so there's this. This is Trick or Treat Kitties, a really thin um, plaid, and this one. Um, Beautiful Night Dimensionals by American Crafts, $1.99. So again, this Tuesday morning wasn't in my hometown. It was like in another town, like an hour and a half away. But their craft section was ginormous. So I went a little crazy. Probably the biggest Tuesday morning haul I've had in like six months to a year, probably. This one is Pink Paisley Spellcraft. Um, there's the thing. And I just think this set is cute. I really hope they get more of this, um, this collection in. Because I really like these stickers a lot. And I just think the collection would be really cool. Um, I think I've bought these before. They're from Stickers, which is a part of American Crafts. Isn't all crafts part of American crafts, it seems like? And they're called Monster, and I like them because they're black, and they've got that orange kind of back. And I watched a video recently that said you should always buy two so you don't run out of one. So we're going to try that out. All right, I got this. You know, I got the spider, or the mason jars, and so I saw the tags with the spiders. I usually don't buy things with spiders, because I don't like spiders. I don't like real spiders. I don't like fake spiders. No spiders are allowed. Um, but I like the rest of the kit, so I went ahead and picked that up from American Crafts. Then I bought this from Pink Paisley. It was part of the spell cast. The packaging is a little messed up, so I'm not sure about that, but... I think the stickers will be okay. And they were all like this. But I thought these were really cute. I'm getting ready to do this pocket letter that is going to be like A through Z of Halloween. So you do a letter, pocket for each letter. I think it ends up being like three pocket letters. So I think I'm going to need a lot of Halloween stuff for that. And then last for Halloween, I got this from American Crafts. $2.49. And they're spider webs. I don't mind spider webs. I just don't like the spiders on the web. But I thought they'd be a good background. And then to go along with that, I found these by American Crafts, and they're like a leaf. And I just thought they'd be really cute for fall. I like fall. Um, next, I got these texture paste that I've been really wanting bad, but I hadn't been able to find. 
and I was really sad that you'd all been hauling them and I hadn't been able to find them. But this new Tuesday morning I discovered did. So this one here is like a blue. And I think you use these with your, um, this one didn't have a uh, skew, so she just did that one. But it's white. And then this one here is $249. So they were all $249 in like a silver. So I was really excited to find that. And then you guys know that I bought all the blingy colors. But they had one that I'd never seen before and not the ones I had. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's just random primary colors. Um, next, I bought this, which are dyes from... We are memory keepers. You really can't see them very good in this package. Let me get them out. All right, so you get love, a little tag with a heart, a star, a heart, a diamond, which I hope it cuts better than the one I bought for the punch. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Like a tag or something? I don't know. So I got that and I really like the packaging. And then I finally have joined the ranks of the rest of you and picked up this sticky tag thumb um kit with the with the runner because I also found and this I'd never seen before the refill and they took a little off it because see that one is a little messed up I'm hoping I can fix it but so I picked that up then I bought this one thing a ribbon there's the skew for that and I thought that would be good for Christmas and then I'm in a wedding this year and I'm going to the bachelorette party this month and they had little bachelorette stickers. So I thought, you know, I'd probably want to make a scrapbook page when I get home. And this would be perfect. And then I bought these DIY shop mason jar because I'm getting ready to do a mason jar flip tag album. And I just thought these would look really cute with that. They're from DIY shop. And then I bought these punches. I know a lot of you have had them for a while, but I never found these little baby feet. But they had it, so I picked it up. I thought I'd put it back, but apparently I got it. And then this one I did want, thinking it would look cute on my cards. You know the ones I made a few weeks ago and we decided to add snowflakes? But now I'm wondering if it'll be too big. But I'm going to get it out and play with it and just see what I think of it. And then I only bought one paper pad. They had so much paper, but I only bought one pad, which I'm pretty proud of myself. It's called Everyday Eclectic. And they have had this since... July so it's an older one I don't know why the tag is wet but there it is and here's the papers you get in the collection and then let me show you the sticker sheet I really like these balloons this is why I bought it and that typewriter is pretty cool and then the little doily so it's just kind of a cool collection and then I got this and this is for my new series that I'm going to start um and I'm going to do periodically where I'm going to buy random products and do reviews for them. Mostly things that we show up at Tuesday morning. I'll probably stay away from the bigger machines for right now, like the Cricut and the Scan and Cut and stuff, just because I don't have the finances right now to do that. If I buy those machines just for my own personal use, you know, I'll still talk about them. But mostly it's going to be like these small We Are Memory Keeper punch boards that have been out for a while, but we may have forgotten. And I'm just going to like slowly but surely kind of do a few reviews on that. If there's something you would like to see in my new series, leave in comments below um, different things you'd like me to see me review. Because um, I am looking for ideas, but I thought I would start with this punch board. So that'll probably be coming in the next week or so. Um, and then um, I've got a couple other ideas kind of in the works. Here's the skew for that. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this one, so I'm excited to try it. And then last but not least, I hit the house mouse mother load, people. House mouse mother load. I bought them. So I bought this one here, which is like a baseball. And the house mouse is on the baseball. And they've had them since like May. So apparently in Lafayette, they're not house mouse crazy like we are here. Um, then I bought this one, which I've been in love with for a long time. And I might already own, you know, I might have already bought this one, come to think of it. So this one may be in a future giveaway. Then I found this one here with sports that I thought was really cool. And see, he's got his popcorn and his soda, and he's looking at the screen or the computer. Or no, that's a TV. 
and it's called Clean Game Day. So I thought that was really cute. And then I found this one here, which is like heel and band-aids. And then I found the pig one. Several of you have shown this one before for $4.99. I don't really know if I love, love this one, but it's still kind of cute. And then the last one I found was this one here for $1.99, and it's called Clean Classified Ads. And I just think that one's fun with him looking at the paper. And he has words on it. It says, free stale donuts of all kinds. So that's pretty funny. Um, so I'm really looking forward to using these in my upcoming video. So as you can see, I hit the mother load. So I'm off to go craft. Bye, everybody.